You want to sing on this video? No. Why don't you sing? You can sing. No. Mr. Tom's going to sing in this video, folks. Nope. All right. Start singing. Nope. He's not singing. Dang it all. I'll, get, I'll sing for you. That's fine. Don't you sing. Merchant explorers. Don't sing. Singing upon the sea. No. Merchant explorers. We're again. Yeah. No. Welcome back, Misfits, to another Under the Lid. And this time we're taking a look at Guild of Merchant Explorers. Actually, uh, we had the opportunity to play this game at Gen Con, and it was super fun. AEG, your game nights at conventions are awesome, as always. And we had a ball. We met even a couple of few good friends there. Uh, we met a couple of guys that we'll, we'll probably give shout-outs to. Maybe we'll do a collab on, actually. The, our one trainer was actually has his own Instagram channel and stuff, and he was super cool. Um, but we'll get to that later. Uh, this is an unboxing for Guild of Merchant Explorers, and I'll go ahead and tell you about it as we unbox this. So we got dragged... This is a story, actually, so congrats, you get story time. We ran, and I, I remembered at PAX U that AEG had a game night, and um, we actually missed out on it at PAX U, and we, I told the guys, I said, hey, Will, Tom, we have to go to this game night. Remember that? I was like, we gotta go to this. Unfortunately, we couldn't get tickets because it was sold out. I think they had 900 seats, and they were all sold out. It was, like, ridiculous. So we showed up with our general tickets in hand because at Gen Con, you need tickets to get into things, but you can use general tickets for stuff. So we all purchased enough tickets to get into this event, but they had made us wait. How long did we wait? Oh, good. Almost an it was, hour. It was like an hour we waited outside there. They wouldn't let us in because they're like, oh, well, people will show up, like, maybe late. And we're like, oh, okay. So us and, like, several people waited outside. And uh, luckily enough, we managed to get in. And I'm glad we did because we had a good time playing this game. This game was sweet. So this is the rule book, of course, for Guild of Merchant Explorers. Now, this game, and it's solid. I've already looked through it many times. It's, it's solid. As always, AEG never disappoints on rule books. So these are your boards. And uh, you have different boards. And I like the fact that they give you different boards. So basically, you're, every round, you're playing cards out to a, to a board. And you move... Your, uh, you basically put your markers down on this board from any of your locations that you start at. Uh, I don't think we use this board. Did we use this board? Yeah, I guess we did use this board. So this is like your starting kingdom, and you basically move out from your kingdom, and you start basically filling in spaces. Now, what happens is after all the cards are out, and each one represents a different terrain movement. So you have your mountain, a plain, oh, ocean, pardon me, excuse me, part ocean, all that other stuff. Once you hit all those terrain movement cards, the board resets. And everything that isn't con everything that isn't um, a village, it was like a village or a, a outpost, outpost, gets reset. So you have to kind of try to reach out to make outposts as you go along. Otherwise, uh, you you basically reset and you have to start from your starting position. Most people have no problems doing that. They kind of reach out and build an outpost. And basically, to build an outpost is actually pretty simple. You have to fill up a full area of a terrain that's separated. So like, if I fill out these three mountains, if I travel along here. I could pull one of the blocks out and put an outpost there. And then next round, when they all clear out, I can start from this outpost and go anywhere else. And you get different points based on various things. You also get treasures from wrecks. You uh, can hit multiple outposts to multiply your score. Uh, there's just lots of cool little ways to play. And it's not a, it, it sounds heavy, but it's not. It's a very light game. Everybody plays simultaneously. So downtime is not very long. And I'm almost giving my review because I love this game so much. This game was just awesome. I absolutely loved it. And I was happy to take home a copy at the end of the night of this game. Believe me. This is your board where you have different terrain movements. You also get a special power every age that lets you do something specific. More often than that, it'll let you put like five uh, cubes down at once on a certain terrain or, or swap stuff around things like that here is your money Ooh, i have it upside down here is your money and your different outposts that you lay down uh i don't think we got to use these crystals in that game i don't remember these and your different era uh, markers and these are your treasure chests you have to put them down because once you pull a treasure from a wreck you cannot uh go back there and pull it again it prevents you from you know spamming the same wreck i actually uh did really well with this game uh didn't i <laughs> Yeah, when, when they asked him what his final score was, they went, excuse me? I, I broke record. I broke a record from what I heard. It was like 180-something. It was like ridiculous. Was Some guy was like, man, I did really well. I went 30. I'm like, I have 180. They're like, what? what? Like, uh, the guy who was running the games, like, I've never seen anybody get that high. Which is funny, because I looked kind of confused in the beginning. So I was like, yeah, I don't think Anthony's getting this. No, I was like, the formula was flying across my head. And, yeah, the uh, first game you didn't win. No, I won the first game too. Oh, you did? I had like 130 the first game. That was my first yeah. game was like 130. And then after that, I got like 180. I kind of exploited uh, spamming these. Nobody was doubling. Nobody was hitting these very much. And I realized that 
they give you a lot. Like every time you hit them, they give you anywhere from eight to nine points or six to nine points every time. So I kind of spam them. I, I had a good outpost that I would spam them from and hit them multiples. So you just told a story, but you didn't say what those cards were. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about my story. Now I tell you the cards are. So these cards are, um, these are your, uh, uh, what are these actually? Do we use these? Yeah, those were the, the gold the cards. Points. Gold yeah, cards. these are gold cards. So happens you get gold cards during the game and they're specific to your region. So you get gold cards that at the end you will get points for. So discover villages on three different lands. So basically you put villages down on three different lands. Uh, these go out actually here. And um, I think there's three of them, if I'm not mistaken. And what happens is the first person who hits the goal puts his marker here and gets that many points. And then, you know, if you're later on, you get the second amount of points. I'm not supposed to be explaining all the cards. That's another video, Miss Fifth Tom. Tell them what the cards were. No, they can just look at the cards. You guys get it, right? It's pretty cards. Stick to the script. There's no script. There's no script for the Tabletop Misfits. That's what we do We're here. Unscripted, We're baby. unscripted. That's what you get. Sometimes it's a knockout. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes not. But we do try. So here's your different terrain cards, and these will come out on your board. And you'll draw them randomly every round. Again, I'm not going to go into the rules. It's too easy to since I've already played it, and it's not that hard of a game. And then these are your different powers. You get different powers during the game. And you'll uh, each era that'll trigger a different power. And then these are different bonuses you get, like for every village you get money, things like that. These, how many of these at the end of the game you have, you'll get different points and stuff like that. And then last but not least is the cubes. They make up the bulk of the game, of course. You got little meeple villages. Uh, eh, eh, eh. And I'll just take these cubes out because they're all identical. So I mean, outside of different colors, they're all the same. Uh, you have your little villages, and they look like this. Whoop. And then you have your cubes. So every round, you'll take your little cubes, and you'll be like, all right, I'm going to go here and go here, and then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to build my village. And then you got a village right there, because I filled out the three planes there. And every round, you'll do that. Well, I mean, not necessarily that, but you'll move your move your cubes out and travel along. But if you don't fill in the area, you can't make a village. And then if you manage to get to the ends of the board, the other markers I have are these towers. So if you manage to make a straight run all the way to these towers from somewhere else, of course, you get to put a tower out and that is your tower basically that you claimed on your board. And then uh, you'll get bonuses from that and you get points from that at the end of the game. And that's all your meeples. Each player has their own bag of exactly the same meeples and stuff like that. Oh, very well done. This is a, this is a lighter game. I'd almost put, this is like a lighter game. I'd almost say like a light, not even really a medium. It's, it's a, a, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a, a fairly light game. game. Yeah, it's like, it's good. It's a crouching medium, but not really. It's just a very, very clever little game, and I absolutely love it. And I go on about it further, but this is an under the lid, and you're going to see plenty of videos about this, I'm sure, because I actually really want to play this right now. So let's stop this video and play right now, guys. So don't forget to leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. As always, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, because we love you. I, I mean, just frankly, we just love you. And whenever you're going around with Guild of Merchants Explorers, don't forget to game on. Thank you.